I'm Megan O'Rourke. On the district's first day back from summer break, students were met with sweltering schools. Holly Samuels begins our team coverage with how the kids are coping without air conditioning. While many kids are still enjoying their summers, having fun at splash pads like this when it's back to school for Huber Heights students. And unfortunately, this extreme weather has found its way into the classrooms. There's no escaping the heat for these Titus Elementary School students. Dim lights, lots of fans, even frequent water breaks still can't stop the sweating. The school, built in 1916, is one of six buildings in the Huber Heights District without air conditioning. So by the afternoon, things get really heated up and it's hard to cool the buildings down. Superintendent Bill Kirby is keeping a close eye on classroom temperatures, where thermometers have topped out at 90 degrees. It's going to be hard to get our students and our teachers to concentrate on lessons when they're sitting there and feeling so miserable about the heat. That's why school officials decided to release students two hours early. The dismissal doesn't count against the district's three calamity days, but it does allow students to head home where they can escape the heat. Not having air conditioning, and um, that's pretty hot around that time of day, so I think that the kids will really appreciate it because they're not going to be able to probably focus as much um, being so hot and humid. But school staff are focused on the forecast, and they plan to keep a close eye on the weather for the rest of the week. I would say to parents, be prepared, because this could happen again tomorrow or even Friday, from what I've seen on the weather reports on the news, that this may stick in here for the next two or three days. Superintendent Kirby says he will make a decision about tomorrow as soon as possible. Reporting live from Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side. And whether it's heat, snow, or power outages affecting your school day, we're on your side to let you know. You can sign up for text or email alerts now on WDTN.com. Look for the site tools box on the homepage and then click on SMS text alerts.